A big announcement for the Midway Redevelopment Project as the city announces today billionaire and sports team owner Stan, uh, owner Stan Kroenke is now on board as the majority stakeholder in this project. We have CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal. She joins us live from the Midway District with what she's learned today. Hi, Kelly. Hi, that's right. You know, the mayor calls this a major milestone for this uh, Midway Rising project because now they have the funding uh, from the billionaire who owns both the uh, Denver Nuggets as well as the Los Angeles Rams. Now, they did not have a, uh, or Stan Kroenke, that is, was not out here today for today's news conference, but a uh, representative from his group was out here. And here's what he told reporters. This project lays a foundation for our future investment in the San Diego community. A modern 16,000 seat arena will carry the legacy of the original sports arena forward. While there is work to be done, we couldn't be more excited for what's in store for San Diego. And what's in store for us? Could it be a professional sports team? Uh, the NBA, the NFL, the NHL? Now that was Jason Gannon with the Kroenke Group. And I asked him, is it possible? He says they're just focused on the real estate right now. But, you know, who knows? He tells me they've been talking with the developers of Midway Rising for a while now to get this partnership off the ground. It was just recently approved. Uh, so we're talking about a multi-billion dollar project, including 4,000 new residential units, including half for low-income families. Uh, as you heard Gannon mention, a 16,000 seat arena, a new hotel, as well as plaza and park space. Now the mayor says having the funding now means the project will move forward faster. Uh, we asked him, with someone like Kroenke on board, does he think we could get another big name team? For those of us that are longtime San Diegans, I'm a third generation San Diegan. What happened when the Spanos family chose to pull up stakes and move out of town is confusing to all of us because San Diego is a good investment. We have a great fan base that was here. It never made any sense. And I think all of us who've seen how that's played out knows it makes no sense. But that was their decision. What we're saying today is, is that people want to be here in San Diego, whether it's an MLS franchise, a new sports arena, the Snapdragon Stadium that we've completed, Petco Park, which continues to be the number one uh, baseball park in the country. Uh, we're a good sports town. We're worthy of investment. So we're just going to have to wait and see, but the mayor says no right now. They're not in any talks with any uh, professional sports teams. Uh, he says the door, though, is always open for those conversations. Kelly has it all CBS 8. All right, Kelly, I know the uh, few folks at the San Diego Golds are very excited to have <laughs> a new rink, maybe bring in some new fan base, maybe uh, renew those those season memberships hey. because uh, let's be honest, that building behind you there, Kelly, it's a basically a circular cement. Oh. Yep structure. Yeah, and I think that was one thing everybody agreed on today is they want this project to move forward. They want this area to be uh, redeveloped. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is prime real estate, uh, and it, we're still going to be a few years down the road before our groundbreaking, right. if even that. So we're, we're a long ways off, but at least we have the funding and the project's going to go forward. Absolutely. A very industrial feel down there that's going to be the completely rendering. revitalized. Nice. Yeah, it's really neat in those, in those pictures there. Thank you, Kelly.